It's a popular Halloween attraction every year. Thousands of people visit Hundred Acres Manor in Bethel Park in the fall. But now, police are looking for the person who stole thousands of dollars worth of electronic equipment from the haunted house. And it is more than just the theft of the electronic equipment, because Hundred Acres Manor is a nonprofit which helps those in need. Christine D'Antonio has the story. For somebody to steal from a charity, you know, I just can't, I can't comprehend that myself. Bill Wolf heads up the Ward Home, a nonprofit that supports charities like the Homeless Children Education Fund and Animal Friends. An average of $200,000 donated each year comes from ticket sales at the 100 Acres Manor Haunted House, a 45 minute thrill house that promises to leave you running scared. We want to make money for the charities, but our other goal is to make sure when people come to 100 Acres Manor that they really have a great experience. This week, thieves took aim at the Bethel Park site, breaking in and taking off with $10,000 worth of electronics. This is the area where the majority of the electronics were stolen from. Police believe that it happened sometime between the hours of 6 o'clock Tuesday night to 8 o'clock Wednesday morning. The material that they took is not easy to replace, and it could have an impact on us when we open in September. Still, Wolf says Hundred Acres Manor will open as scheduled on September 8th, while Allegheny County police track down the person responsible. They've taken fingerprints and footprints and are asking for the public's help. Wolf is pleading with the community for answers as well and says a $5,000 reward is up for grabs to whoever can find who took the stuff. He says he'd even appreciate the thieves to drop the stuff off at the scare house or even send an anonymous email saying where it is. If they don't, we're going to continue to publicize this. We're going to continue to offer that reward until we find it. We're not going to give up. In Bethel Park, Christine D'Antonio, KDKA TV News.